All right, we're at El Segundo City Hall. We're gonna have um, Phil, he's now in California. Do a complaint on the public official. She wanted to be funny, but we'll make her seem funny today. There you go. All the mayors. We're gonna go to Human Resources. I don't think they're gonna be happy today. They're going to be in a hotels. So here you go. Let's see if it's closed again. Yeah. All right, so go to the city clerk. It's right there. Hi. I guess you're familiar Thank with you, me. Sir. I was here last couple days ago. Here. Yeah, so uh, I was supposed to come back, talk to David. Every time I'm coming here, they seem to be closed. Oh. Can we get uh, somebody from Human Resources to talk to me? Do you know Mona? I mean, I don't know. Let me check. Oh, hey, Mona. Mona and I had a cordial conversation last time. We did. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. It okay. hurt me more than you. And now you're laughing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't see anybody down there. Oh, no, I'm just kidding you. Oh, I'm sorry, what was your name again? Phil. Phil. Hi, um, I have Phil here who was here on Thursday and wanted to see if there's anyone available in the HR department you can speak to. David Serrano, specifically. Okay. You'll find that? Okay. Great. Bye. They only have certain hours over there, huh? Well, you know, they're going through a lot of, there's a lot of projects they're working on right now. Gotcha. So, so uh, I was told that, I don't know if you gals know, Greg was going into retirement. Somebody said he retired on the first. Is he still here, or is that not true? No, Greg has officially retired. Okay. Um, hold on one second. Sure. Hey, Lizzie. Okay, great. Thanks. Bye. David's gonna come in here in a minute. Okay. Perfect. And he's come the director of human resources. Okay. Very good. Okay. All right. Wait well, for him outside. I think mm -hmm. I'm gonna meet him out here. We'll wait out here. Are too many people in there. We're going to wait for her. There we go. He is here. Are you David? I am. My name is Phil. Hi, Phil. I came in here uh, about three days ago. Okay. I was doing a public information story in the mayor's office. The uh, executive assistant uh, secretary had a real issue with me. Okay. Uh, for no, she elevated it out of control, very unprofessional purpose, per person. Over 10,000 people have seen the video. Uh, sure. I, I, I don't know uh, if you're familiar with the calls that have been coming in, but I want to file a complaint against her okay. for her unprofessional behavior. And I also want to complain that uh, by uh, Joseph, the finance director, and Greg, the city manager, not providing me with her name or a business card, okay. stonewalling me, is a violation of the Public Records okay. Act. Okay. Well, I'm. Sorry that you had that experience, and I can take the personnel complaint. Thank you. Okay. Um, Is she? People have indicated. I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. And sure. Go ahead. Uh, people have indicated that her name is no longer on the city website. Is that correct? I don't know. I haven't looked at the city's website, so okay. I, I wouldn't know. But she still is employed. I don't know the particular person we're talking about until I. People have given the name. I, I, I'm not going to guess as to what you... Of, a, of, a, of Amisha Jennings. Okay. That is the person that I need to verify. If, if that is the person. So did, well, well did, let's, let's, go, let's go backwards because I'm trying to respond to you. Go ahead. And trying to understand, but I'm, I'm not going to guess as to what your personnel complaint is about each of the individuals that you just alluded to. I just so, told so, them. So, I just stayed with you. But I'm happy to take the personnel complaint. Right. Right. So would you like to do that? Yeah. I, okay. I, Great. I, I just indicated what the complaints were for. Okay. Do you mind if we take a seat? Or no, that's fine. Do you fine. mind if we go into a conference room, wherever you feel comfortable? Let's go to a conference room. We can all fit in a conference room. I'm not taking everybody in a conference room. All right. Let's do it right here. Feel comfortable? Let's do okay. it right here. Please. Okay. Go I'll on. stand. Okay. All right. So, which day were you here? Uh, 
And, and I apologize, your name again? My name is Phil. Phil, okay. Yeah. Uh, I believe it was three days ago, or two days ago. Okay, so approximately three days ago? Yeah. Okay. And if you can walk me through what occurred again? Well, I was uh, narrating through the exterior, and then oh. I entered the building, and I was indicating what this uh, building provides for the uh, community, and okay. I entered the uh, mayor's and city council manager's office. And as soon as I entered, I went directly to my right side and started narrating about the pictures, the old history pictures of the city of El Segundo. And all of those pictures, I believe there's five of those pictures that are all labeled at the bottom in their frames indicating the year and uh, what, what the location was, the street location and so on and so forth. Okay. There are two pictures in there that weren't labeled. One is of the uh, of the cars being built and also the airplanes being built. Okay. And I didn't know what those were, so I uh, turned around, and uh, as I turned around, I didn't even know there was an individual there, but I saw an individual, and my camera then is pointing to this wall. This camera never went on that person okay. or in her direction, and I said, hi. She didn't respond to me, I said, hello. She didn't respond to me, and I said, can I ask you a question? And her demeanor was, her actions were, no. I can't ask her a question. And then at that point, the camera went on her and I asked her why she'd be so unprofessional and rude. And from there, it just went south. She uh, wouldn't answer me any questions. She just walked out of, the, out of there and closed the door on me. I was still in the lobby. Then I indicated, as I'm narrating, that there appears there's no transparency in the city, and I don't know why, and I'm filming the uh, countertop, and she has all of her personal children's pictures on a public lobby countertop facing the lobby. Now, I understand that people that work in jobs have cubicles, and they bring, they'll bring pictures in and so forth, and they'll keep them in their cubicle. I understand that. But to post family pictures on a public lobby countertop facing the lobby, it makes no sense. So she didn't like the camera filming those, and she came out very aggressive and started grabbing them, grabbing them, grabbing them, and told me, I must come away from her desk. I must come away from her desk. Those were her words. So she left, and then uh, the city manager, I didn't know who came out because I asked them. They told me who they were. It was the city manager, Greg, and the finance manager, Joe. And I asked them, if they would please identify her because of what just happened. And uh, they would not give me her name. And uh, they would not provide me with a business card. They claimed they would give me a business card, but if you saw the video, you could see they were stonewalling. And at no time did I get a business card or her name. I was indica it was indicated to me that I have to go through you to get a employee's name to file a complaint. And uh, I know that is not true. So, I am here now to file a complaint about the unprofessional behavior being a, uh, excuse me, being a uh, public official, getting tax dollars by the public. There's no reason for her to act that way to a person just coming in and asking a question. So, if you don't mind, let me go back because I want to check my notes. To go make ahead. Sure I, make sure I understood and got what you were talking about. Sure. So, you were in the city manager's office and you went... The lobby. I'm sorry, the city manager's office lobby. And you wanted to ask questions about two of the pictures that were not labeled. Correct. Okay. And when you asked if you could ask a question, um, you said the employee replied no. Um, and then uh, asked, uh, and then I think if I got the notes right, you indicated she acted in an unprofessional manner at that point. Right. Um, she asked me, I don't know what your intent is here. And I said, my intent is to ask you a question about the two pictures. And that didn't help. Even when I ex explained it again, she could care less. Okay. Uh, and then you indicated she had some photos on the countertop. Personal photos of children. Mm -hmm. <coughs> 
facing the lobby on the public counter. And then you indicated the employee didn't like the photos being filmed. She came out, grabbed the photos, and made comments to you about come away from my desk. Correct. All right. Twice. And then you said Greg and Joe came out, um, and you indicated they refused to give you their, the employee's name and or her business card. Correct. Okay. okay. Is, are there any other details that you would like to share? Or I think that's pretty much it. It's just that uh, there's no reason for them to not give me that. That That's a violation of the California Public Records Act that if something is readily available and accessible, it, it, it must be given immediately. Now I understand that if, you, if somebody comes in to make a, a public records request, you guys have up to 10 days to respond and then you can take another 14 days to uh, do the research and so on, but, but those are for things that aren't readily accessible. Well, I'm here to take the personnel complaint, right. and if there's any other details that you'd like to add to the personnel complaint, I'm happy to take those details. I think I think uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, just a few couple things I want to bring out. When I talked to Joe, uh, we tried to get back into the office, and she locked the door. She wouldn't allow him back in, nor myself, and it was still during business hours. So, uh, Joe, I said, you've got to get me in there. I want to see if she's got a business card. And he says, well, I don't know what you want me to do, break the door down? I mean, that kind of statement is ridiculous. So I said, well, there's got to be another way to get into this room. And he says, well, I don't know. And as I'm saying that, you can see employees are coming out a side door. I said, Joe, just go out the side door here. I knocked, and sure enough, we saw her go to open the door. She opened the door, and Joe went in, and then he let me in. And then uh, I left. One other thing I want to uh, mention that I didn't bring up is that in the initial encounter where uh, Joe uh, and uh, Greg met me, I was filming in the lobby and I went down by the public, uh, I was in the hallway and uh, Joe told me that I'm not allowed to go uh, film in that uh, uh, room. There's a room right off of the, the, the hallway there and I said, well, I'm not going in the room. He says, that's a secure area, and I said, but I'm in a lobby. I can film anything I want from a public lobby. And uh, uh, so he tried to tell me something that was not true. And then by the time, I must have been here, I don't know, 40 minutes. By the time it was all over, he did admit that I can film in a public lobby, and I can film through a door from a public lobby. So, you know, at least he got educated on that. But, you know, the thing is, I didn't come in here to create drama to impede business. And the way I was treated as a, uh, as a person is really incredible when you've got a public uh, official here making over 100 grand a year and acting the way she did to me. You know, those jobs are probably you know, if I could get a hundred grand a year for insulting people, sign me up. Come in. Okay. Um, so we talked a little bit about Joe as well. Or is, or is there any other details you want to share with regard to the, your experience here? Uh, well, Gr Greg mentioned to me also. He says, you know, uh, when she, when she was slamming the doors, uh, I, I said to Greg, I, I don't know what her problem is. He says, well, you know, some people are un uncomfortable being in front of a camera. But the issue is, yeah, people can be uncomfortable, but I wasn't even filming her when I was talking to her. So she's not uncomfortable in front of a camera, she's just in, uh, uncomfortable being around a camera and probably never should go to a photo store. But, you know, to act that way is just highly unprofessional. It makes the city look bad. It looks this makes the city look bad, and uh, that's not what I'm trying to do. But unfortunately, this is where we're at now. So, uh, tell me what happens now. Well, what happens now is I will take this personnel complaint. Right. Um, personnel items are uh, private and confidential. We'll review that information. Right. Um, and I apologize. You mentioned. Uh, actually, I 
apologize, I didn't write a note down. Um, so this was filmed. Did it get posted to a website? Yeah. Okay. Is there a place where I can see what was posted? Sure, it's on, it's on there. Um, it's on YouTube. Where on YouTube? Uh, it's on uh, YouTube. If you just type in uh, El Segundo City Hall, okay. it should First Amendment audit. It might come up there. Okay. Uh, First Amendment. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if it says First Amendment, but if you if it just says El Segundo City Hall, rude public employee. Okay. Something uh, okay. that nature, okay. or if you just type in First Amendment on it, El Segundo City Hall, it'll come in. Okay, so <laughs> as, as part of this personnel complaint, we'll, we'll take a look at that YouTube posting as yeah, well. Yeah, that's right? fine. Um, as you indicate, uh, some of that was filmed. And, the uh, entire episode was filmed. And we'll take a look at that. Appreciate it. And, uh, and but as I mentioned, personnel complaints are private and confidential. Right, you're not going to disclose. We, we what, will not disclose any any disposition of that. Uh, in any manner, but mm -hmm. I will call you and contact you back regarding the closeout of the investigation. Okay. Uh, so is there a place where I can get a hold of Sure, here? you can reach me at News Now. Hey guys, News, news Now, now. California. Cali. Cali. At gmail.com. Okay. And I'm going to repeat that. Uh, news Now Cali, C A L I. All one word. Newsnowcali at gmail.com. Gmail okay. If you want to see the intensity of two minutes of what transpired, we can show it to you right now. Okay. The, the, I'll, I'll watch the uh, title on the video so you can find it. Yeah, no, no, I thank you for that, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll look at the whole video. Okay. Uh, yeah, here's the get title. Uh, I'll send you the city hall needs to follow up California public record. Is there anything after the R? Is it DS or records? Records Act. Public Records Act. Okay, give me one second. Still David. You, you can call me Shirley. Yeah, that's okay. I'm still going to call you Phil. <laughs> um, so um, I'm not going to put a time frame on it. I've got to see what, what all fine. the details are. I, I, that's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm taking the personnel complaint. That's fine. Um, I was we'll, just curious. Yeah. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll deal with this as quickly as we can. And as I mentioned, um, the YouTube video exists. The information is there, right? Um, and then uh, and then once we close that out, I will go okay. down and send you, that, send you that notice. Good deal. Okay, appreciate it. You're a hard guy to get a hold of. Him. That's it. Thanks. Thanks, David. Look forward to hearing it. That's it. Crazy camera boy. Good job, Phil. That's thank how we you. do it, man. Yeah, thank you, man. Yeah, that's a good follow up. Thank you. Many people don't follow up on their stuff. No, you got to. Yeah, yes. But I just met someone that actually follows up on stuff. That's how it is. Here we go. Watch right here. Is it here? Oh, look what they put here. This what just went up. Chase the camera boy. Did they put a lock on? Did that lock just go in too? No, that lock was there. Don't forget to subscribe. But the sign wasn't there? Uh, yep. Really? I don't remember that sign. Employees only here. There you go. Sergeant's waste disposal. Mm -hmm. I guess that's it. They posted signs all over the the entrances that we can't go into. Well, I'm gonna turn it back on if something happens, Casey Cameron boy. All right, guys. Well, this is it. News now. California has filed his complaint. I hope these people learn. Peace out. Subscribe to all these channels. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Peace out, people. Oh, I missed this part. Oh.
little cafecito right here. Built in safety. Oh, she better smile because I put a complaint on her for no smiling. So you that. Well, let me get a coffee because mine as well, you know, I'm paying for this coffee right here. I'll tell you this. I love coffee. Are they really going to get coffee? Yeah, oh my goodness. They need a better one here, right? And I pay for this coffee, mine as well. Hey, you guys are out of coffee. Hey, you guys are out of coffee right here, let me tell you this. Oh, thank you, that. I think they're out. Mm, they got you, huh? <laughs> they got me dirty. Oh, yeah. Thank get you, GB. Thank you so much. I'll get my cafecito right here, man. This cup of coffee is like five bucks, man. Right here. Hey. Now when I'm shaking. Like five bucks, dude. If you've been with me at the casino, you know I'll drink coffee a lot. Cup of seat over here. Big wire wrap a little bit. No, what I'm saying. Oh, free water? Where's that free water? Mm. Better be hot too. Mmm. Good. Ah. It's all right. Still giving credit. So we got planning, building and safety. How is it? What, guys? Okay. It's good. I'll be honest. It's gold. It's a little sour. There you go. Let me tell you this, guys. Coffee is life. You got all your plans ready? Almost. All right. All right. That's right, my man. No, oh, no shame. Public works, business license. The counter is temporarily closed, so you leave your information and brief description. They'll follow up. So they only have certain counter hours, mm. which I think most cities do. They only have counter hours so many times during the day. Well, I guess, guys, this is it. I'm gonna finish my coffee. It's a pleasure coming here. Peace, people.